Hello students, welcome back to Concept Angle Digital Classes. I am Nibal, Faculty in Chemistry. In the Yan Ningal Kumbila theory, another NTA Abayas Apple available itala mock test papers live to solve a and data. Ipo either very Pandranda test papers available it under number Pandrandil and the Mango to Thoranga Boya. So we are starting with the 12th question paper, the mock test paper that is available in NTA Abayas app. We are starting with the mock test paper 12 for NEET. Okay, and see the questions. The first question On what grounds can you say scandium is a transition element but zinc is not one? The atomic number of zinc is 30. Just have a look into the question. The first option option A is incompletely filled 3D orbitals in scandium, colored compounds. Variable oxidation state and none of the above. Uh, you know the general properties of a transition element. Transition element, so it's starting with the scandium, uh, the 3D series, scandium to atomic number 21 to atomic number 30, it's ending with zinc. And the, in the family of zinc, it is zinc, cadmium, and mercury. Except zinc, cadmium, and mercury are, rega are regarded as transition elements. They are D block elements but not transition elements. What is the reason? There are many properties that is very common to the transition elements and D block elements that is such that uh, variable oxidation state and the, they forms colored ions. They are, most of them are paramagnetic in nature. The catalytic activity, alloy formation, coordination complex formation and many many E0 values. Uh, there are many properties very com uh, common to the all transition elements except zinc, cadmium, mercury. Zinc, cadmium, mercury are soft, others are hard. That is the reason. A D block element is referred as, is defined as a transition element when it has incomplete D orbital. The D orbital, what is the D orbital? What is the general electronic configuration of a D block element? N minus 1 D 1 to 10, N S 1 to 2. N minus 1 D 1 to 10 N S 1 to 2. So this should be incomplete. This should be incomplete. Then only it shows paramagnetic nature. Then only it shows variable oxidation state. Then only it shows the common properties of transition elements. But zinc is not So on what ground can you say that scandium is a transition element but zinc is not? Because scandium is having incompletely filled 3D orbitals. That is the reason for the uh, first question. Okay, that is the answer for the first question. Okay, let's move to next one. So, second question is, second question, have a look. The catalyst used in the manufacture of polyethylene by ziegler natta method is, ziegler natta catalyst, two scientists, Ziegler and Natta. What are the catalysts used in the manufacture of polyethylene? Polyethylene, there are two types of polyethylene, high density polyethylene, HDP, low density polyethylene, where you have LDP, linear low density polyethylene, we have two types of polyethylene, LDP and HDP. That's why HDP is the Ziegler Natta Catalyst to use it to prepare it. That's why Ziegler Natta Catalyst is the question. So, titanium tetrachloride and triphenyl aluminium. Titanium tetrachloride and triethyl aluminium. Titanium dioxide, titanium isopropoxide. Titanium tetrachloride, so that is TiCl4, TiCl4 plus triethyl, ethyl, ET3Al, ET3Al. What is ET3? That is C2H5 thrice aluminum. So, this is Ziegler Natta catalyst, it is a direct question. Ziegler Natta catalyst is a random combination. On the titanium tetrachloride and ET3Al, that means triethyl aluminium. And second one, it can also be seen like in some other question, that is titanium trichloride, titanium trichloride plus AlC2H5 twice Cl, that is diethyl aluminium chloride. If you have chlorine, you can use chlorine. So, this combination is Ziegler Natta Catalyst. 
കാണാൻ പറ്റും ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ രണ്ട് കണ്ടാലും നിങ്ങളത് ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ചെയ്യണം ഈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ്റെ ആൻസർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സിമ്പിളാണ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ടൈറ്റാനിയം ടെട്രാക്ലോറൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ട്രൈ ഇതിൽ അലൂമിനിയം ഓക്കെ ഈ സിഗ്ലനാറ്റ കാറ്റലിസ്റ്റിന് ഒരു വേറെ ഒരുപാട് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ഉണ്ട് അത് സ്റ്റീരിയോ സ്പെസിഫിക് ആണ് അതായത് സ്റ്റീരിയോ കെമിസ്ട്രിക്ക് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഉണ്ട് സം പോളിമേഴ്സിലെ ചില ജോമെട്രിക്കൽ ഐസോമേഴ്സ് ആണ് ഇവിടെ കിട്ടുക ഓക്കെ എന്താ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് തേർഡ് വൺ ദ കാർബൺ കാർബൺ ബോൺ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇൻ ബെൻസിൻ ദ കാർബൺ കാർബൺ ബോൺ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇൻ ബെൻസിൻ This is benzene. Okay, this is benzene. Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. In alternate type, double bond to single bond. But the actual structure is not. This has a resonance structure. And this has a resonance structure. This will shift it to here. This will shift it to here. This will shift it to here. You know what? So, this is a resonance hybrid. In that resonance hybrid, neither bond is single bond. or double bond ellathinum partial double bond characters aanu partial double bond character so the bond between each carbon atom having an average bond characteristics as that of single bond and double bond but single bond is longer than a double bond and double bond is shorter than a single bond but idu single bond ini double bond ini edayila undavva appo single bond inekkalum cherudum double bond inekkalum valudu aanu undavva single bond inekkalum cherudum double bond inekkalum valudu angane avumbo ഏതായിരിക്കും ഓപ്ഷൻ ലോങ്ങർ ദാൻ സി സി സിംഗിൾ ബോൺ ശരിയല്ല സിംഗിൾ ബോണ്ടിനേക്കാൾ ചെറുത് എന്നാണ് പറഞ്ഞത് ലോങ്ങർ ദാൻ സി സി ഡബിൾ ബോൺ കറക്റ്റാണ് ലോങ്ങർ ദാൻ സി സി ഡബിൾ ബോൺ മറ്റേത് ഷോർട്ടർ ദാൻ സി സി ഡബിൾ ബോൺ ശരിയല്ല ഷോർട്ടർ ദാൻ സി സി ട്രിപ്പിൾ ബോൺ ശരിയല്ല സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ആൻസർ ദാറ്റ് ഹാസ് എൻ ഇൻ്റർമീഡിയേറ്റ് ബോൺ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ആസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ സിംഗിൾ ബോൺ ആൻഡ് ഡബിൾ ബോൺ ബിക്കോസ് ദ ആക്ച്വൽ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഇസ് ദ ഹൈബ്രിഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ടു റെസിഡൻറ്റ് സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ആവറേജസ് എ മോളിക്യൂൾ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ explanation of your answer b so the bond length of carbon carbon single bond is 1.54 armstrong and double bond is 1.32 armstrong and in benzene that is the average it's one around 1.4 it's 1.39 and something it comes so answer is p let's move to the next question okay the fourth one the number of atoms in 100 gram of an fcc crystal with density d is equal to d or rho is equal to 10 gram per centimeter cube and the cell edge equal to 100 picometer is equal to what the number of atoms number of atoms means if you know the number of moles if you know the number of moles if it is multiplied with avogadro number you will get the number of particles whether it is atoms molecules ions anything anything one mole of a one mole of any substance in the universe has avogadro number of particles avogadro number 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles appo namaku ivada number of moles kittiya madi number of moles kittan ivada actual mass thannittund this is the given mass the the number of atoms in 100 gram and it's give fcc fcc z is equal to 4 z is equal the number of particles is equal to 4 with the density d is equal to 10 gram per centimeter cube and the cell edge cell edge equal to 100 as it is cubic a is equal to 100 picometer a is equal to 100 picometer okay a is 100 picometer appo namaku ivada kandu pidikkandathu molar mass kittiya madi because number of moles is equal to given mass divided by molar mass how you find out molar mass because density d is equal to the number of particles z into molar mass m divided by a cube as it is cubic the volume of unit cell is equal to cube into avogadro number into avogadro number so we'll get the molar mass so we'll get the molar mass m is equal to density d into a cube into n a divided by z divided by z we'll get the molar mass when you get the molar mass you can calculate the number of moles when you get the number of when you get the number of moles that into avogadro number of atoms will be there in an fcc crystal okay and uh, let's see the solution this m is equal to rho it's given it's taken rho rho a cube and a d a cube and a divided by z and the answer is 1.55 is molar mass and the number of atoms number of atoms the actual mass 100 the actual mass 100 divided by molar mass 
into Avogadro number into Avogadro number that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 and the answer is 4 into 10 raised to 25 number of atoms in NFCC crystal so the option is so the option is option D option D okay let's see the next question question number 5 1.44 gram of titanium reacted with an excess of oxygen and produced x gram of a non stoichiometric compound titanium 1.44 O1 the value of x in gram the value of x in gram mass on a 1.44 gram of titanium reacted with an excess of oxygen and produced x gram of non stoichiometric compound the value of x in gram on a question okay this question chain in Mumbai because uh, I want to know whether you know about POAC, POAC, that is Principle of Atom Conservation, POAC. Okay, let's go to whiteboard option. Okay, see the reaction. Potassium chlorate on heating decomposes to KCl plus O2. The equation is not balanced. Now, you would I hope you know principle of atom conservation. Principle, principle of atom conservation. Stoichiometric calculation is the method. That is the method on POAC. Principle of atom conservation. That means that is according to the law of conservation. All atoms can either be created nor be destroyed. It is conserved in a chemical reaction. Above, one atom is uh, conserved on reaction. So, if there is potassium atom, reactant is potassium atom, that is conserved in the product also. That means there uh, are potassium atoms product. If there is oxygen atom, there is oxygen atom. If there is chlorine atom, there is chlorine atom. Okay. So, we will see this. This is the number of, number of K in KClO3 is equal to this is the reactant number of K in KCl number of K in KClO3 is equal to number of K in KCl okay this is equation number one number of K in KClO3 is equal to 1 mole on angle 1 into 1 mole on angle 1 k on down okay about you would have two mole on angle 2 k on down about 1 into that is or okay see a lot of or k and 1 into number of moles of kclo3 number of moles of kclo3 karna the other end of all and angle other one known to karna or only no or okay and or okay see a lot of in the similar way, number of moles of K in KCl is equal to. One KCl on the other mole on the other. Okay, under mole on angle two. So number of moles of KCl. And these two are equal. Number of K in KCl O3 is equal to number of K in KCl according to principle of atom conservation. According to principle of atom conservation, they are both are equal. Otherwise, they are two equal. One to one to cut the boom. Therefore, finally, you can write. N number of KClO3, number of moles of KClO3 is equal to number of moles of KCl. Number of moles which we have to get a relation. Number of moles of KClO3 is equal to number of moles of KCl. Okay? Okay. 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 Number of moles of KClO3, number of moles of KCl is equal to number of moles of KCl. Number of moles of KClO3 is equal to number of moles of KCl. Actual mass of KClO3 divided by molar mass of KClO3 is equal to number of moles of KCl that is actual mass of KCl divided by number of moles of KCl sorry uh, molar mass of KCl molar mass of KCl if, if the molar mass is not known calculate it. Excuse me. 
മൂന്ന് നോണും ഒരു അണ്ണോണും ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇത് വെച്ചിട്ട് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ ഓഫ് ആറ്റം കൺസർവേഷൻ വെച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഇതിലെ ഡബ് ഈ സൈഡിലെ ഡബ്ല്യൂ ഈ സൈഡിലെ മോളാർ മാസ് ആ സൈഡിലെ ഡബ്ല്യു റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡിലെ മോളാർ മാസ് ഇത് ഏത് വേണമെങ്കിലും കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ മെത്തേഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ ഓഫ് ആറ്റം കൺസർവേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗോ ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് വാസ് അവർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ഗ്രാം ഓഫ് ടൈറ്റാനിയം ഇസ് റിയാക്ട് വിത്ത് ഓക്സിജൻ അപ്പോൾ ടൈറ്റാനിയം ഈസ് റിയാക്ടിംഗ് വിത്ത് ഓക്സിജൻ ടു ഫോം ടൈറ്റാനിയം monoxide but this is not one is to one this is uh, titanium is non stoichiometric so 1.44 1.44 okay let's see the solution nerathe parna principle of atom conservation nammal ivada just apply edirikkana and this is the chemical reaction titanium plus oxygen gives titanium 1.44 oxygen this is given 1.44 gram and this is taken x gram and we are applying principle of atom conservation number of moles of titanium in the reactant is equal to number of moles of titanium in the compound product okay titanium 1.44 o appo ivada nammal nerathe endey cheyirunnathu number of moles adhaayathu ivada etra titanium undo nerathe nammal kclo thile oru kcl ayirunnu oru k ayirunnu appo ivada 1 into aanu ivada 1.44 into number of moles of titanium ഇത്രയേ ഉള്ളു പ്രോബ്ലം നേരത്തെ ചെയ്തത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കറക്റ്റ് മനസ്സ് പി ഒ എ സി പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ ഓഫ് ആറ്റം കൺസർവേഷൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാമെങ്കിൽ ഇത് വളരെ സിമ്പിളായിട്ട് സോൾവ് ചെയ്യാവുന്നതാണ് അത് ചിലർക്ക് അത്ര ക്ലിയർ ആയിരിക്കില്ല അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ അതൊന്ന് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തത് സോ അവിടെ വൺ മോൾ ഓഫ് കെ സി എൽ ഒരു കെ ആയിരുന്നു ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് വൺ ഇൻറ്റു ചെയ്തത് ഇവിടെ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ആണ് സോ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോൾസ് ഓഫ് ടൈറ്റാനിയം സോ ഓക്കെ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോൾസ് ഓഫ് ടൈറ്റാനിയം ദ ഗിവൺ മാസ് ഡിവൈഡർ ബൈ മോളാർ മാസ് അറ്റോമിക് മാസ് ഓഫ് ടൈറ്റാനിയം ഇസ് ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് സോ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു എക്സ് എക്സ് ഗ്രാം ഓഫ് ദി കോമ്പൗണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡർ ബൈ ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ഇവിടെ ടൈറ്റാനിയം വൺ മോൾ ആണെങ്കിലാണ് ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ഇവിടെ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ മോൾ ഉണ്ട് സോ ഫോർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റു വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ആൻഡ് ഓക്സിജൻ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ ഓക്കെ സോ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ ഫൈനൽ ആൻസർ ദ ആൻസർ ഈസ് വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫോർ പ്ലസ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ ത്രീ യുഡോ ദ കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ സെവൻ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ സെവൻ ഈസ് ദ ആൻസർ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് സെവൻ സെവൻ ഓക്കെ സോ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഏതായിരുന്നു ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ്സ് മൂവ് ടു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ സിക്സ് ജസ്റ്റ് റീഡ് ടു പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് ഇൻറ്റു ടെൻ ഡേസ് ടു മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഇക്വാലൻസ് ഓഫ് കെ ഓച്ച് ഈസ് റിക്വയർ ടു ന്യൂട്രലൈസ് പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ടു ഫൈവ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ഗ്രാം ഓഫ് എച്ച് ടു എക്സ് ഓ ഫോർ എക്സ് അൺഓൺ എച്ച് ടു എക്സ് ഓ ഫോർ ദ അറ്റോമിക് മാസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻ ഗ്രാം we should uh, recall the concept of law of chemical equivalence law of chemical equivalence according to law of chemical equivalence the number of equivalence of all the species involved in a chemical reaction are same not the number of moles the number of equivalence that means the number of equivalence of koh will be equal to the number of equivalence of the acid h2xo4 appo rendinem equivalence equal aanu namukku kittandad endha atomic mass of x aanu kittandad appo namukku ivada calculate cheyyam ivada number of equivalence number of equivalence of k o h is equal to number of equivalence of the acid h2 x o4 h2 x o4 but number of equivalence calculate cheya namaku ivada k o h in equivalence thannittund that is 2.2. 2.56 2.56 പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് സിക്സ് ഇൻറ്റു ടെൻ റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇക്വാലൻസ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇക്വാലൻസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു നമ്പർ ദിസ് ദിസ് ഗിവൺ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഡൈ ബേസിക് ആസിഡ് ഡൈ ബേസിക് ആസിഡ് എൻ ഫാക്ടർ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോർ എ ഡൈ ബേസിക് ആസിഡ് എൻ ഫാക്ടർ വിൽ ബി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ബേസിക് എച്ച് പ്ലസ് ആയോൺ ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് അസിഡിക് എച്ച് പ്ലസ് ആയോൺ ബേസിസിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ടു അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം മോളാർ മാസിന് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യണം സോ അറ്റ് ഇവിടെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിൻ്റെ ആക്ച്വൽ മാസ് തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോൾസ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോൾസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ എൻ ഫാക്ടർ സോ ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോൾസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ദ ആക്ച്വൽ മാസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് വൺ ടു ഫൈവ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ മോളാർ മാസ് മോളാർ മാസ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ
molar mass namaku kandupidikkanadu x okay that divided by because uh, this is uh, number of moles this is number of moles that is divided by n factor divided by 2 when you solve this you will get x when you solve this you will get x and this is the calculation atomic weight x avada y aitan eduthathu number of equivalence of koh is equal to number of equivalence of h2xo4 and they here i i have taken x that's it okay appo ivada 66 plus x or y divided by 2 and by solving this you will get the answer 32 and the answer option is d okay let's move to next question question number 7 which of which one of the following compound is a peroxide idu vare vannadokka adhigo numerical problems aayirunnu that is based on stoichiometric calculations and equivalent concept very very tough questions this is a very simple question which one of the following compound is a peroxide it's an easy question peroxide ko2 is a superoxide mno2 is an oxide no2 is an oxide this is an oxide this is superoxide this is oxide this is oxide and what is the structure of barium peroxide barium barium bonded with two oxygen atom and the two oxygen atoms are linked by a peroxide linkage this is a peroxide linkage oxygen single bond o it's a cyclic structure barium peroxide so this is the answer which one of the following compound is a peroxide barium peroxide is a uh, barium bao2 is a peroxide okay this is superoxide okay let's move to the next question that is question number eight <coughs> if the activation energy Ea of the reaction is equal to RT. Ea is equal to RT. And the options are the rate of reaction will be independent of initial concentration of the reactant. The second one, the rate constant becomes approximately equal to 37 percentage of the Arrhenius constant. And the option C, the rate of reaction becomes infinite. And the option D, the rate of reaction always first order. The equation for activation energy is, what is the equation? K is equal to Arrhenius constant A into E raised to minus E A by R T. This equation. And it is given E A is equal to R T. Then K is equal to A E raised to minus 1. E A is equal to R T. So, A by R T is 1. So, that is equal to K is equal to A by E. What is the value of E? That is equal to A divided by 2 .2 2.71. 2.71. And that will be equal to 1 by 2.71 will be equal to point 0 0.37. 0 0.37A. That is equal to 37 percentage 37 percentage okay this is a simple question and just um, this is a solution k is equal to a raised to minus a by rt when a is equal to rt solved that is equal to 0.37 a the rate constant becomes approximately equal to 37 percentage of the Arrhenius constant okay clear next question question number nine pH, pH is benzene ring, C6H5, CH2, CH double bond, CH2 with dilute H2SO4, the product is A, what is A? So, this is a substituted alkene that with dilute H2SO4, dilute H2SO4 means H2SO4 is there and water is also there, okay. So, let us take pH is benzene ring, benzene ring, CH2, CH double bond, CH2. Okay, in the presence of dilute H2SO4, this pi bond will shift to here, making this plus and making this minus that with uh, making this minus that with H plus from concentrated H2SO4, what you will get? This is benzene ring CH2 CH plus single bond CH3. This is a carbocation, this is a secondary carbocation, secondary carbocation. If this positive site is shifted to here, that will become benzylic, that will become benzylic. So from here to here, that is 1 to hydrate shift, 1 to hydrate shift, 
So you will get a carbocation like CH plus CH2, CH3. This is benzylic carbocation, benzylic carbocation, and that is highly stable. And from the water, OH minus will attach to the benzylic position, and you will get an answer C. pH, pH is benzene ring, and in this position, OH, because here the carbocation site is uh, attached, and uh, this one, this is the product. Hope it is clear. Okay. Next question. Question number 10. The number of gram molecules of oxygen in 6.02 into 10 raised to 24 carbon monoxide molecule. Gram molecule, gram atom, gram ion concept. What is that? That is number of gram molecule means number of moles of molecule. Gram atom means number of moles of atom. Okay. So gram molecules and the we should find out N. N. Ethra molecule under the question. C oil, train C oil, about train number of molecules in the about itra molecule, etra mole in the calculate. So that is equal to the number of moles is equal to the actual number given divided by Avogadro number. That is equal to here it's given six point six point zero two into ten raised to twenty four divided by six point 0 to into 10 raised to 23 okay that's is equal to 10 carbon monoxide molecules 10 carbon monoxide molecules above one carbon monoxide molecule or oxygen atom so that is equal to 10 oxygen atoms okay about three oxygen atom angle oxygen molecule or no two on this is divided by two that's is equal to 5 o2 molecules about 5 mole 5 mole O2 molecules in which 5 gram molecules of oxygen will be there so the answer is 5 gram molecules that means the number of moles is equal to 5 oxygen atom on the CO carbon or carbon monoxide or oxygen atom on all the carbon monoxide in the number equal aircom oxygen atom and then a power the aircom O2 okay clear next question and this is from organic question number 11 when this is a haloalkane here is a carbon and carbon bromine is attached h there ch3 ch2 ch3 reacts with the koh in the presence of water through sn2 reaction the mechanism is sn2 nucleophilic substitution by molecular then the stereochemistry of the product will be you know in sn2 mechanism there is inversion of configuration inversion of configuration takes place Apo, configuration inverted on the end of the configuration that is the opposite irukum, adu, adu configuration irukum, product Apo, we have um, R as configuration R as configuration R as notation for this R as configuration we have C I P rule what is C I P rule can in gold prelog rule there is priority order so in that uh, the first uh, condition is the least priority group that should be in the other plane that should be behind the molecule that should be behind the molecule in here this is in the horizontal position so that should be behind the molecule uh, Fisher projection formula behind the molecule we have one vertical position that is upper position and lower position in the air so here this is the horizontal position what is the configuration that is the reverse and then the actual configuration is done. That is the inverted. The first we have priority order. Priority order rule and search. First you take the atomic number. If the atomic number is same in case of isotopes, you take the atomic mass. Okay. When the first atoms having the same priority, then you go to the next and so on. Now we have a bromine with a greater atomic number bromine. And here also see, here also see. Here the second element is uh, both are C, here the second element is hydrogen, here the second element is carbon. So the second priority is for this and this is the third priority and this is the fourth priority. Okay. So hydrogen assume that is behind the plane. Uh, now in the figure that is not behind the plane. Uh, behind the plane I assume chia. you just follow the number 1, 2, 3. This is clockwise or anti-clockwise, counterclockwise or clockwise. This is counterclockwise. 
കൗണ്ടർ ക്ലോക്ക് വൈസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ദ കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ഈസ് എസ് ഓക്കെ കൗണ്ടർ ക്ലോക്ക് വൈസ് കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ഈസ് എസ് ബട്ട് ദ ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഈസ് നോട്ട് ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദ പ്ലെയിൻ ഇൻ ദ ആക്ച്വൽ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആക്ച്വൽ സ്ട്രക്ചറിൽ ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദ പ്ലെയിൽ അല്ല അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം ഈ എസിനെ വി ഷുഡ് ചേഞ്ച് ആർ ആർ ആക്കി മാറ്റിയാൽ മതി അല്ലാണ്ട് പൊസിഷൻ ശരിക്കും പൊസിഷൻ റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം എന്നാണ് റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാണ്ട് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് ഒരൊറ്റ സിംഗിൾ സ്വാപ്പിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഇത് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും സോ വൺ ടു ത്രീ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രയോറിറ്റി ഓർഡർ സോ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എസ് ആൻഡ് ആർ സോ ഇൻ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദ കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ഈസ് ആർ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ആൻഡി ക്ലോക്ക് വൈസ് എസ് ഈസ് ദ കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ബട്ട് ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ഈസ് ഇൻ ദ ഹൊറിസോണ്ടൽ പൊസിഷൻ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ദ വെർട്ടിക്കൽ പൊസിഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എസ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ദ ഹൊറിസോണ്ടൽ പൊസിഷൻ സോ ചേഞ്ച് ദ കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ടു ആർ ദ കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ ഈസ് ആർ അപ്പോൾ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റിൻ്റെ കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ എന്തായിരിക്കും എസ് ആയിരിക്കും എസ് ഈസ് ആൻസർ എസ് ഈസ് ആൻസർ സോ യു ജസ്റ്റ് ഹാവ് എ ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു ദ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഇവിടെ നോക്കുക ഇവിടെ ബ്രോമിൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ആർ വൺ ടു ത്രീ so this we are getting s but change it to r so the answer is s is r aanu so s r is uh, in greek that is rectus that is stands for right meaning right and sinister s for sinister that is left that is clockwise and anti clockwise and the answer is b answer is b okay s is answer so let's move to next question calculate 12th question calculate the amount of electricity required to deposit 0.9 gram of aluminum by electrolysis of a salt containing its ion if the electrode reaction is aluminum 3 plus ion combining with three electron to form aluminum atomic mass of aluminum is given that is 27 and 1 faraday is equal to 96500 coulomb first first of all what is 1 faraday 1 faraday is the charge of electron carried by one mole of electron carried by one mole of electron what is the charge of one electron that is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb son that into avogadro number is 1 faraday 96500 coulombs okay that is the charge of one mole of electron appo oru mole electron undu 96500 aanu appo namukku ivade oru mole one mole aluminum one mole aluminum produces 3 mol electron allengil 1 mol electro, uh, aluminum have 3 mol of electron 1 mol of aluminum is formed by combining with the 3 mol of electron adana correct correct statement okay endalum 1 mol of aluminum undavum avada 3 mol of electron endu cheyunnade accept cheyunnade okay appo 3 mol ennu parayumbo 3 into 1 mol inde charge etraya that is uh, 1 faraday that is 96 ഫൈവ് സീറോ സീറോ കുളം എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ത്രീ ഫാരഡേ ആണ് വൺ മോൾ ഇലക്ട്രോൺ നമുക്കിവിടെ മാസു ആയിട്ട് ആണ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഉള്ളത് പിന്നെ റിലേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടാണ് പ്രോബ്ലം ചോദിച്ചത് അപ്പം വൺ മോൾ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ അറ്റോമിക് മാസ് ഓഫ് അലൂമിനിയം ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻ വൺ മോൾ എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻ ഗ്രാം ഓഫ് അലൂമിനിയം ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു ത്രീ ഇൻറ്റു നയൻ സിക്സ് ഫൈവ് സീറോ സീറോ ഗ്രാം സോ ദർ ഫോർ ദർ ഫോർ പോയിൻറ്റ് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് നയൻ ഗ്രാം അലൂമിനിയം is equal to 3 into 96500 divided by 27 27 in note 27 into etra varum 0.9 0.9 appo ibada 27 and 9 appo ibada etra varum idu 9 aanengil this will be 3 we ibada into 10 okay 33 cut it away that's equal to 9650 50 coulombs 9650 coulombs angana or option illa so we'll rearrange just say 9.65 into 10 raised to 9.65 into 10 raised to 3 coulombs 9.65 into 10 raised to 3 coulombs option a 9.65 into 10 raised to 3 coulombs that is answer normal calculation and uh, let's move to let's rush into the next question this is the solution uh, that we already explained okay you can make a screenshot of this and move to the next question question number 13 the vapor pressure question from the chapter solution that is electrochemistry ayirunnu 
The vapor pressure of water at 20 degree Celsius is 17.54 mmHg millimeter mercury. When 20 gram of non-ionic, non-ionic, it won't dissociate. Substance is dissolved in 100 gram of water. The vapor pressure is lowered by 0.3 mmHg. What is the molecular mass of the substance? The molecular mass of the solute is what? M2 is what? That is the question. The vapor pressure of water that is I am taking as that is P10, P10 is equal to 17.54, 17.54 mmHg and 200 gram of non-ionic, the solute that is W2 is given that is 20 gram, 20 gram and that is dissolved in 100 gram of water that is W1, W1 is equal to 100 gram. Solvent I am taking 1 and solute I am taking 2. Okay, the vapor pressure is lowered by that is delta P1 is equal to point, 0 0.30 mmHg. What is the molecular mass of the common? Delta P1 is given, P10 is given uh, and W2 is given, W1 is given, you should find out M2. So, if you know the relation, you can directly substitute as like this. Okay, Samayam. I am giving the direct solution. Here P10, instead of P10 they are taking P0. And instead of P1 they are taking PS. Okay. That is for solution. This is for solvent, pure solvent. This is for pure solvent. This is for solution. That is, uh, is equal to X2. X2, X2, X2 of solute. Or P10 minus P1 is equal to, what is this? This is mole fraction. Mole fraction. Mole fraction is equal to, Number of moles of solute divided by number of moles of solute plus solvent. Solvent plus solute. Then this is taken as capital N. Capital N. And direct substitution. This is the delta. This is delta P1. Delta P1 is 0.3 and it is 17.54. It's given. That's equal to number of moles equal to actual mass 20 divided by actual mass. Actual mass 20 divided by molar. Uh, actual mass divided by molar mass and this also actual mass divided by molar mass and just to rearrange when we will get the answer that is only, only calculation and cancellations 206.88 is the molar mass so the answer is option B move to rush to next one that is question number 14 a weak acid HX with Ka value 10 raised to minus 5 on reaction with NaOH gives NaX for 0.1 molar aqueous solution of NaOx, NaX, the percentage of hydrolysis is what? This is the next question. Benzene reacted with a haloalkane in the presence of aluminum chloride, Lewis acid catalyst, to form a product X. What is X? Okay, so in the presence of uh, a Lewis acid catalyst, what is happening to a haloalkane? When you take a haloalkane, RCl, with aluminum chloride, aluminum chloride is an Aluminum chloride is an electron deficient molecule that is eager for the negatively charged ion or electron. This undergo heterolysis. This undergo heterolysis to form R plus plus AlCl4 minus. This is the electrophile. This is going to substitute in an electron rich benzene ring. Okay. And here the RCl is CH3, CH2, 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 CL. That is CH3, CH2, 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 CL. With aluminum chloride, Lewis acid catalyst, this will be shifted to here. You will get CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 plus. CH2 plus. This is a primary carbocation this is a primary carbocation in order to attain stability one hydride ion will be shifted to here one hydride ion will be shifted to there okay and so you will get ch3 ch2 ch plus ch3 so this is the electrophile formed if this electrophile is substituted to a benzene ring this is a benzene ring okay Plus, there is a CH plus, CH, and from there, a CH2, CH3, this CH2, CH3, and there is a CH3. What will be the product? See, benzene ring, benzene ring, 
and this plus to any of the position C H and C H C H and from there C H 3 and from there C H 2 C H 3 this is the answer so which is option benzene ring C H C H 3 C H 2 C H 3 so option D is the answer option D is the answer okay let's move to the next question next question uh, question number 16 <laughs> the UPSC name of ethyl isobutyl ether the UPSC name of ethyl isobutyl ether okay ethyl isobutyl ether ethyl is C2H5 O isobutyl <coughs> isobutyl that is C H okay C H2 C H3 and here C H2 and here there is a C H3 this is isobutyl ether ethyl isobutyl ether so how will this is the main chain and from here will number 1 2 3 1 2 3 so what will be the answer this is one first position this is ethoxy group this is an ethoxy group that is a substituent this is a methyl group one ethoxy two methyl propane this is a propane one ethoxy two methyl propane so the option b b is the answer okay next question this is question number 17 which of the following sets of quantum numbers could represent the last electron added to the complete electronic configuration of a ground state atom of bromine atomic number 35 according to Aufbau principle? Okay, so we need the principal quantum number, principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic orbital quantum number, spin quantum number, nalu quantum numbers. So, uh, atomic number bromine is a 17th group element the electronic configuration general electronic configuration is ns2 np5 in which period bromine fluorine is in the second period chlorine bromine so uh, fourth period so fourth period that means 4s2 4p5 4s2 4p5 which of the following set of quantum numbers could represent the last electron added which is the last electron that is the fifth electron in p orbital so here n is equal to 4 quantum number n is equal to 4 and l is equal to what is l for p orbital l l is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc and the subshell as p d f so l this is p so l should be is equal to 1 above either option value on angle b alangil d okay and the next when l is equal to 1 ml is equal to minus 1 0 plus 1 and ms that is spin quantum number is equal to plus or minus half plus or any of the spin so n is equal to 4 l is equal to 1 option b or d and then minus 1 0 plus 1 so plus 1 is there so the option is b this is the correct answer minus half plus or minus half okay even our l one number ml 2 avatilla so that is not the option our correct answer is option b let's move to the next question the question is enthalpy of reaction at 27 degrees celsius is 15 kilojoule it's given in kilojoule per mole the reaction will be feasible the reaction will be feasible you know the gibbs free energy should be negative <coughs> that means delta g should be less than zero and we know the equation delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s in order to make this negative in order to make this negative del t delta s should be greater than delta h appo mathrame endu yullu delta h nnum oru higher quantity minus subtract cheyumbo adu negative avathullu so t delta s should be greater than delta h so delta s greater than delta h by t all the answers are given in joule so here this is given in kilojoule that is equal to delta h is 15 kilojoule that is equal to 15 into 10 raised to 3 joule divided by temperature 27 degrees celsius that is 300 kelvin okay when uh, 15,000 15, this is greater than 15 joule 50 joule not 15 50 joule okay so it should be greater than 50 joule per mole per, mole per kelvin so option 
C is the answer. Okay, it should be greater than 50 joule. Okay, let's move to next question. And this is explanation we already discussed. Okay, this is uh, also given in the site. Okay, NTA app Apple Kurutatunda. Ella explanation soon. Okay, and this is the next question. Question number 19. The equilibrium constant for the reaction N2 plus O2 gives 2N. It's a simple question. And temperature at the temperature T is 4 into 10 to minus 4. Kc is given. Kc is 4 into 10 to minus 4. The value of Kc for the reaction. The direction is reversed as well as the stoichiometric coefficients are changed. When the direction is reversed, K dash C is equal to 1 by Kc. And the stoichiometric coefficient, this is multiplied with half. So, K double dash C is equal to k c raised to half when both have done that means when both the direction as well as the stoichiometric coefficients are changed that is k triple dash c is equal to 1 by k c raised to n on 1 by k c raised to half that means 1 by root k c that means is equal to 1 by root of 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 what will be the answer? 1 by root 2 10 to minus 4. So that is equal to uh, 1 by 2 into 10 raised to minus 2. 1 by 2 into 10 raised to minus 2. That is um, one by two into ten raised to minus two. That's equal to this is 0.5, 0.5 into 10 raised to 2, that will be is equal to 50. That will be is equal to 50. That is the answer. So option B is the answer. Okay. Let's move to next question. This is the explanation. KC, this is detailed explanation. KC is equal to NO raised to 2 and uh, N2 plus O2, 4 into 10 raised to 4 into 10 raised to minus 4, 4 into 10 raised to minus 4. And it is reversed, k dash c, one, one root of 1 by kc, that is equal to 50 is the answer. Okay, let's move to the next question, question number 20. Question number 20, what is question number 20? Which of the following is correct? You have a Wolframite, option C, the Wolframite is FeWO4, MnWO4. That is magnetic, that is magnetic. Okay, cassiterite is uh, SNO2, tin dioxide and rutile is TiO2. What is the sulphide of ozone? It is an incorrect statement. Tin, tin stone, cassiterite is magnetic in nature, wolframite is non-magnetic in nature. Wolframite is magnetic in nature. Okay, so wolframite is, uh, this is a correct statement. In the only correct statement that is non-magnetic that is magnetic. So the option is option C. It's a direct question. And the next one. Wolframite is FeWO4, MnWO4 is a tank state or other is magnetic in nature. So answer is C. This is the next question. Next question. Just read the question. The osmotic pressure of solution containing 34.2 gram of cane sugar in 1 liter of solution at 20 degrees Celsius. Direct question. Osmotic pressure, the relation pi is equal to CRT. This is the answer. Osmotic pressure of solution containing pi is equal to 34. What is this? This is if it is molarity W2RT divided by M2. This is number of moles into V. Okay, this is another equation. If you expand this equation and W2, what is W2? That is 34.2 into 0 0.082 into what is the temperature given? 20 degrees Celsius. That is 293 Kelvin divided by M2 sugar, cane sugar. That is 342. It is given 342. We calculate 342 in 1 liter. You will get the answer and here it will be 10 and what is the answer the answer is this is the calculation 1 liter 0 0.0 that is 2 point that is 2.40 that is 2.40 is the answer 
കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ മാത്രമേ ബാക്കി ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നുള്ളൂ സോ ദിസ് ആൻസർ ലെറ്റ്സ് മൂവ് ടു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ സി സിക്സ് എച്ച് ഫ്രം ഓർഗാനിക് സി സിക്സ് എച്ച് ഫൈവ് വാച്ച് ഫിനോൾ പ്ലസ് സി എച്ച് സി എൽ ത്രീ ആൻഡ് എൻ എ വാച്ച് വട്ട് ഈസ് ദിസ് റിയാക്ഷൻ വട്ട് ഈസ് ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് ദിസ് റിയാക്ഷൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് റീമർ ടീമൻ റിയാക്ഷൻ ക്ലോറോഫോം വിത്ത് സോഡിയം ഹൈഡ്രോക്സൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റിയാക്റ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ഫിനോൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് സാലിസിലാൽ ഡിഹൈഡ് സാലിസിലാൽ ഡിഹൈഡ് and what is the electrophile involved in this reaction it's a like an electrophilic substitution electrophile normally electron deficient molecule aanu and chcl3 that is chloroform chcl3 here three chlorine atom these three chlorine atoms are electron withdrawing so uh, as this is electron withdrawing uh, this will be an acidic h plus when that with an oh minus oh minus from the base NaOH as this is because the presence of electron withdrawing group increases the acidity OH minus will attack this H plus so you will get C Cl 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 how this H plus is removed this is shifted to here and so there will be two electrons okay so here one two three four five five electrons around the carbon atom five there are three bonds and one lone pair so exceeded the valency so one more chlorine will be removed in the aqueous solution so you will get as there is five electrons there will be a minus obviously there will be a minus when one chlorine atom in order to remove this negative charge one chlorine atom will be removed so that is ccl2 but there are two um, lone pair but no negative charge because this is eliminated that will produce a positive positive plus negative is zero so this is called a carbene intermediate carbene this is dichlorocarbene dichlorocarbene intermediate this dichlorocarbene you just count the electron c is bonded to one cl that is bonded to cl and there are two electron it is actually electron precise and this is not a lone pair this is not a lone pair this is an not an electron rich molecule the, the electron richness is not there so this will attack the benzene ring this will attack the electron rich benzene electron rich benzene ring so this will act as the electrophile when you see the mechanism the detailed mechanism you will understand this so this is ccl2 dichlorocarbene is the electrophile involved in this reaction so this is the answer this option b let move to next question question number 23 when aniline it's a direct question when aniline is treated with sodium nitrite na no2 and hcl this both together forms nitrous acid hno and that with aniline that is a diazotization reaction so the answer is diazonium salt it form a diazonium salt okay that is the answer and let's move to the next question question number 24 question number 24 have a look which of the following statement is incorrect hydrogen act hydrogen first option hydrogen has three isotopes which is in which tritium is most common you just think protium deuterium tritium which is most common protium is most common one then deuterium and the least one is tritium hydrogen never act as a cation in ionic salts hydronium ion exists freely in solution the long correct statement on dihydrogen act as a reducing agent okay that is the question number 24 question number 25 the angle between the angle between angle between overlapping of one s orbital and one p orbital which is the uh, p orbital that involved in overlapping between with s orbital s orbital is spherical that is along the internuclear axis so we need an a p orbital that is along the internuclear axis according to the concept convention we are taking it as pz okay so an s orbital overlapped with the pz that is along the internuclear axis so the angle should be 180 degree that is end to end overlap end to end overlap okay so that is the angle should be 180 degree so the option is a rush into the next question okay this is the before going to the next question this is the figure that we already explained and the next question question number 26 at 25 degree celsius at 25 degree celsius the ph of water is 7 uh, that means at room temperature the water the ph is 7 we considered it as neutral when temperature of water is increased to 70 degree celsius room temperature is 70 degree celsius then the ph of water and the nature of water ph and nature okay 
pH is defined as the concentration of H plus or hydronium ion at a particular temperature. That means at each temperature there is a pH value. There is a pH value. But room temperature pH 7 uh, is defined as neutral. Now, the temperature increase when we take water, water has feebly ionized, water is feebly ionized to H plus and OH minus. Okay. And the concentration of H plus is 10 raised to minus 7. So the pH is equal to minus log 10 raised to minus 7 is equal to 7. Now, this is 10 raised to minus 7, you know that is 0 0.00000000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, E0, 1, Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, Atrim decimal points, Atrim Atre H plus. When the temperature is increased, the ionization increased, the degree of ionization increased, more H plus will be produced. Apo pH, that is the H plus ion concentration kudumbo. Acidity kudum. Acidity kudumbo number shirk normal temperature lanangil is seven the tari kuvir. In the which pH decrease here, chia. pH decrease here. But that is defined as neutral. Karna the ether H plus produce you know, a three more H minus produce you. Apo you would first option pH will decrease, correct on and the sample becomes acidic. No, Karna ether H plus and dio, a three more H minus and down so it should be neutral. pH will increase, but the sample will remain neutral. Aduala pH will remain constant as seven. And pH will decrease and the sample will remain neutral. This is the answer. Why the sample will remain neutral? Because, <coughs> excuse me, when an H plus is produced, a same number of OH minus also produced. Okay, so it will be uh, neutral. Okay, that is the answer. Very clear. And move to the next question. Question number 27. And either is more volatile than alcohol. Uh, actually, either is an alcohol derivative. Either is an alcohol derivative. ROH is alcohol. When this H is removed with an alkyl group, that is either. Okay. And uh, alcohol having the same molecular formula, this is due to. This is due to, there is a specific property. There is a unique property. That is intermolecular hydrogen bonding in alcohol. Because there is an O minus and H plus partial charge, that is H plus is not present here. So, intermolecular hydrogen bond is absent in either that is present in alcohol. So, this is the answer. Intermolecular hydrogen bond. Let us move to next question. Question number 28. The drug used as post-operative analgesic. Post-operative analgesic in medicine. Post-operative analgesic analgesic is painkillers. Painkillers. Painkillers, narcotic analgesics, non-narcotic analgesics. Non-narcotic analgesics aspirin and paracetamol. But narcotic analgesics example on morphine. Morphine is used. That should be in medicinal amount. That should be prescribed by the doctors. Okay. So, that should be in medicinal amount, in a higher amount that is poisonous and may be causes coma or even death. Okay. So, this is the answer. It is a direct question. Rush into the next question. Question number 29. Higher order, greater than 3. Reactions are rare. Order of the reaction, 3 in the melee kapawath in the karnam. According to collision theory, a chemical reaction takes place by the collision between the molecules. Collision theory. We explained. Uh, that is explained in uh, chemical kinetics. Akshay, one is some type of molecule, either molecule. Tamil collide. Our day, one moonal kudal molecules, Tamil or a some type collide. See, I probability coravan. Adi onno or two molecules collide. See, that two or a product type tomorrow. A or intermediate product type type. Add the molecule collide. I mean, I am collision. We not want to. So there is very least probability, low probability for simultaneous collision of all the reacting species especially greater than 3 so higher order reactions are very rare on to next question i hope it's clear question number 30 among the following the most stable complex for the stabilization of a coordination complex there are different effects adilore effect on chelate effect chelate effect chelate effect here, C2O4 2 minus. C2O4 2 minus is a didentate ligand. What is C2O4 2 minus? Oxalate ion. Oxalate ion. Density is 2. So, one ligand, this is one ligand, can form two bonds. 
two bonds with a single metal atom. So there is a chelate is formed. So when a cyclic structure, chelate complex is formed, that makes it stable. So this is a unidentate ligand, this is a unidentate ligand, this is a unidentate ligand, this is a density is 2. As density is 2, it forms chelate rings. So it is highly stable. It's also a simple question. Okay. Question number 31. You just read question number 31. Phenol is a weaker acid than acetic acid because phenol is a weaker acid than acetic acid because when a substance becoming an acid, for example, when you take acetic acid CH3COOH, it gets dissociated to CH3COO minus and H plus. CO minus and H plus. You take the structure of this is called acetate and CH3 that is C double bond O O minus. That is resonance stabilized by CH3. Okay. This electron is shifted to here. This electron is shifted to here. That is CH3 C O minus double bond O. Here this is one resonance structure. This is the second resonance structure. In this resonance structure. Okay. Before the before explaining about this resonance structure. Let's take the uh, phenol. Phenol. Okay. When we take phenol. When H plus is removed. That is phenoxide ion. That phenoxide ion will shift the electrons to here and it will form the resonance structure. The number of resonance structure is higher. But when this negative charge is shifted to benzene ring, the negative charge is going to the negative charge is going to the carbon atom, the least electronegative carbon atom. Here in this resonance structure, the negative charge on most electronegative oxygen atom, in the other resonance structures, that will move to the benzene ring that, that is in which the negative charge will be situated in a least electronegative carbon atom. Okay. Here these two are identical structures. One and two are identical structures. One point. The second point is the negative charge is delocalized between the most electronegative atoms random oxygen atom and similar atom so this resonance structures contribute more towards the resonance hybrid the actual molecule but in here when the carbon atom when the oxygen atom is shifted to here when the carbon atom bears a negative charge when the carbon atom bears a negative charge that will contribute very less towards the uh, resonance hybrid the actual molecule so this structure this structure is more stabilized acetate ion is more stabilized so when acetate ion is stabilized that will form acetate ion when an acetate ion is formed H plus ion will be formed when an H plus ion is formed we can call that is acidic so a phenol is a weaker acid than acetic acid or acetic acid a stronger acid than sorry a stronger acid than phenol why because phenoxide ion is better stabilized by resonance wrong phenoxide ion is not better stabilized by resonance because in phenoxide ion uh, identical structures are other polar than a negative charge is not in all resonance structures the negative charge is not in the most electronegative oxygen atom acetate ion is better stabilized by resonance than phenoxide ion phenol lead soluble in water both phenoxide so this is answer acetate ion is better stabilized by resonance as their resonance structures are identical and the negative charge on the most electronegative oxygen atom option b hope it is clear and question number 32 question number 32 select the correct statement acidic strength of HCl and HBr HBr is greater than HCl but the reverse is true for their reducing property no HBr is greater than a, as in a group as the size of the atom increases the bond length increases the bond strength decreases and uh, as the bond between H and X decreases the acidic strength should increase okay when it is releasing an H plus ion that also that when it is releasing an H plus ion that is acidic property and it is also reducing character so acidic strength and reducing character follows the same order the first statement wrong on and the opposite it on the basic strength of pH 3 and ASH 3 uh, are compared pH 3 is greater than ASH 3 but reverse is true for bond angle basic strength of pH 3 and ASH 3 in group 15 uh, down the group the basic strength decreases NH3 is more stronger than PH3 nitrogen is more electronegative so they, it keeps more electron density on nitrogen atoms so the electrons are available on nitrogen atom for the protonation 
അതുകൊണ്ട് താഴേക്ക് കുറയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് കറക്റ്റ് ആണ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കറക്റ്റ് ബട്ട് ദ റിവേഴ്സ് ഈസ് ട്രൂ ഫോർ ദർ ബോണ്ട് ആങ്കിൾ ഹൗ വി കമ്പയർ ദ ബോണ്ട് ആങ്കിൾ വെൻ വി ടേക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിയർലി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിയർലി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻഡ് ഇൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്ലൈഡ് ലെറ്റ്സ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് ദർ ആൻഡ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് സി എച്ച് ത്രീ സി എൽ ആക്ച്വലി ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിക്രീസിംഗ് ഡൗൺ ദ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് സി എച്ച് ത്രീ എഫ് സി എച്ച് ത്രീ സി എൽ ബട്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ എക്സെപ്ഷൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ എക്സെപ്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ കമ്പൈൻഡ് എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ചാർജ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദ ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെൻറ്റ് മ്യൂ ഈസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു ക്യു ഇൻ ടു ആർ ഓക്കെ സോ ദ കമ്പൈൻഡ് എഫക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ചാർജ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഈസ് ഹയർ ഫോർ ക്ലോറിൻ സോ സി എച്ച് ത്രീ സി എൽ ഈസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ഡൈപോൾ മൊമെൻറ്റ് ദാൻ സി എച്ച് ത്രീ എഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കറക്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ടേക്ക് ദ let's compare the bond angle the figure is there in the next slide we will explain there and ka1 of fumaric acid is higher than malic acid they are um, stereoisomers geometrical isomers but reverse is true for their ka2 and let's look the next slide first one we already explained the acidic strength of um, hbr and hcl and reducing property are always uh, the same order basic strength of ph3 is greater than ash3 that also discussed by and about the bond angle okay phosphorus and arsenic down the group electronegativity decreases electronegativity decreases phosphorus is more electronegative than arsenic adu kondu phosphorus holds the electron in this area and arsenic holds the electron little far appo ivide repulsion undavu repulsion undavumbo bond angle wide avu bond angle wide avu so here 93.6 here 91.8 ഇവിടെ ഫോസ്ഫറസിൻ്റെ അടുത്താണ് ഉണ്ടാവുക മറ്റേ ആർസനിക്ക് ഒന്ന് കുറച്ച് അകന്നിട്ടാണ് ഉണ്ടാവുക സോ ദ ബോണ്ട് ആംഗിൾ സോ ബേസിക് സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓഫ് പി എച്ച് ത്രീ ഇസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ എ എച്ച് ത്രീ ദർ ബോണ്ട് ആംഗിൾസ് ആർ ഓൾസോ ഇൻ ദ സെയിം ഓർഡർ റിവേഴ്സ് ഓർഡർ എന്നുള്ള സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് തെറ്റാണ് നമുക്ക് തിരിച്ചു പോകാം ഇനി ഇവിടെ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് തീറ്റ ടു ഇസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ തീറ്റ വൺ വിച്ച് ഇസ് തീറ്റ ടു ദിസ് ഇസ് തീറ്റ ടു ഓക്കെ that is greater than this is chloromethane that is fluoromethane theta 2 is greater than theta 1 why because here fluorine here chlorine this is fluorine this is chlorine electron ivide aanu undava idinde electron korchudi idinde adutha aanu undava fluorine holds the electron more strongly due to the higher electronegativity appo bondil ulla electron surrounding atomathinte adutha aanu ullathu ingotay kaanu ullathu ivide adu korchudi ingotay kaanu undava appo ivide repulsion koodu അപ്പോൾ റിപ്പൽഷൻ കൂടുമ്പോൾ ബോണ്ട് ആംഗിൾസ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങോട്ടേക്ക് അടുക്കും അപ്പോൾ തീറ്റ വൺ ലെസ് ആയിരിക്കും തീറ്റ ടു കുറച്ചുകൂടി വൈഡായിരിക്കും കാരണം എന്താ ഇവിടെ നിന്നുള്ള റിപ്പൽഷൻ കുറവാണ് അപ്പോൾ തീറ്റ ടു ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ തീറ്റ വൺ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കറക്റ്റ് അല്ലേ തീറ്റ ടു ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ വൈ ഫ്ലൂറിൻ ഇലക്ട്രോൺ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതിൻ്റെ അടുത്തേക്ക് അടുപ്പിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് സോ ഇവിടെയുള്ള ബോണ്ട് പെയർ ബോണ്ട് പെയർ റിപ്പൽഷൻ വിൽ ബി ലെസ് അപ്പോൾ അത് കറക്റ്റാണ് തീറ്റ ടു ഇസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ തീറ്റ വൺ ബിക്കോസ് ബോണ്ട് പെയർ അവിടെ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഡൈപ്പോൾ മൂവ്മെൻറ്റിൻ്റെ കാര്യത്തിലുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തു സി എച്ച് ത്രീ ആക്ച്വലി ദ ഓർഡർ ഈസ് സി എച്ച് ത്രീ സി എൽ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സി എച്ച് ത്രീ എഫ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സി എച്ച് ത്രീ ബി ആർ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സി എച്ച് ത്രീ ഐ ആണ് ഓക്കെ ആക്ച്വലി ഇത് മാത്രമേ ഒരു ഓർഡർ ചേഞ്ച് ഉള്ളൂ ബാക്കിയെല്ലാം കറക്റ്റ് ഓർഡറാണ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വൺ മോർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ആസിഡ് ഡിസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ആസിഡ് ഡിസോസിയേഷൻ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് കെ എ വൺ ഓഫ് ഫ്യുമാരിക് ആസിഡ് ഓഫ് ഫ്യുമാരിക് ആസിഡ് and uh, that of uh, malic acid malic acid fumaric acid and malic acid both are indicated here fumaric acid is trans and malic acid is cis okay random uh, dicarboxylic acid and unsaturated dicarboxylic acid in malic acid these two are close to each other after the removal of one h plus ion this will be co minus so this will form hydrogen bond intramolecular hydrogen bond in malic acid after losing h plus ion intramolecular hydrogen bond that stabilizes the molecule and that makes the removal of the second h plus ion difficult first h plus ion is removed easily to form the stronger hydrogen bond okay a hydrogen bond undayin shesham second h plus ion remove cheyan buddhimuttu aayittu varu appo ka1 when the h plus ion is removed easily more h plus ion will be formed and more h plus ion formed ka1 will increase you just, just refer the portion uh, the dissociation of weak acids and dissociation of weak bases okay appo ivide h plus first h plus ion easily remove him second h plus ion remove and buddhimuttana adu kondu ka1 is greater than ka2 
and let's go back to the question this is our question look into the statement we explained this is not a correct statement this is also not a correct statement and the last question ka1 of humeric acid last statement ka1 of humeric acid is higher that's also not correct ka1 of malic acid is higher because it uh, removes an h plus ion and forms a stable hydrogen bond so ka1 of malic acid is uh, higher not fumaric acid and option c that should be the correct answer the dipole moment of ch3cl is greater than ch3f that we explained and the reverse is true for hch bond angle because c here is an f here is h here is h the electrons will be near to here so the repulsion is less so the bond will be wide so the bond angle will be higher so if this is instead of fluorine if that is chlorine the electron will be in this area and the repulsion will be higher so the bond angle will be lesser so ch3f ch3f having more bond angle than ch3cl ch3cl so this is the correct option okay so the next question is question number 33 which of the following statement is relation to the hydrogen atom is correct in relation to the hydrogen atom is correct but that is about the energy of orbital for so for energy of orbital there are two rules the first one is uh, for hydrogen and hydrogen like species that means for one electron species that depends on only the value of n only the value of n if n is same that means if the uh, shell is same having the same energy and for uh, other multi electron atoms other than hydrogen and hydrogen like species it depends on n and l so we'll follow n plus l <coughs> excuse me so this is hydrogen atom so we should only uh, consider n here 3s 3p 3d all are having n is equal to 3 so the energy should be same all having the same energy that is a correct statement all others are wrong statement okay move to next question number 34 SiCl4 on hydrolysis forms X and HCl. X and HCl. Compound X loses water at 1000 degrees Celsius and gives Y. Compound X and Y are, you know, SiCl4. Si, chlorine, chlorine, this chlorine, chlorine. Tetrahedral like CCl4. When this is treated with water, H2O, okay, one chlorine will eliminate to form. It forms SiCl, Cl, Cl, OH. If you are treating this again with uh, excess of water, 3H2O, all the Cl will be. What is HCl? HCl is eliminated from here. Here, HCl is eliminated. Okay. Here, here 3HCl will be eliminated and you will get SiOH four times. That is called silicic acid. Silicic acid. Silicic acid. SiOH four times. That can be written as H4, 4H, SiO4. H4, SiO4. H4, SiO4. There are two options. When this S4, H4, SiO4 is heated to 1000 degrees Celsius, it forms SiO2 plus H2O. SiO2 plus silica it forms silica so which is answer option d is answer okay so this is x and this is y this is y okay this is the solution sicl4 first forms h4 sio4 x that on above 1000 degrees celsius it is decomposed to form silica and two molecules of water question number 35 when dry silver chloride is fused with the sodium carbonate, we get pure what? This is a reaction. When AgCl is um, when AgCl is heated with the sodium carbonate, it forms silver. It's a simple reaction. It's a direct question. Nothing to explain. Okay. Some questions are like that. It's direct, uh, especially from inorganic and P block or S block. Next question, question number 36. Electron affinity of chlorine is 3.7 electron volt. How much energy is released in kilocalorie? Not the unit, kilocalorie versus electron volt. When 2 gram of gaseous chlorine atom is converted into Cl minus ion in the gaseous state. Electron affinity 
is the energy change when uh, it accepts one mole of an electron. So, here is the electron affinity. Cl, Cl minus R is the energy change in the 3.7 electron volt. On. That is given in electron volt. So, for one mole of conversion of Cl plus 1 electron gives Cl minus, that is 3.7 electron volt. That is the same so, one mole is the same as 2 gram. So, 2 gram is the same as moles. So, number of moles is equal to 2, the given mass divided by molar mass, that is 35.5. 35.5. So, you just have a look to the solution. Moles is calculated, moles is calculated, that is, uh, moles of Cl is equal to 2 divided by 35.5. We already checked it. Uh, and that is equal to 0 0.0563 mole. Energy released for 1 mole it is 0 0.0563. Sorry, for 1 mole that is 3.7. So, for 0 0.0563 mole uh, that is uh, 0 0.0563 into 3.7. And why this is 96.5? That is to convert into joule, kilojoule. Because for uh, 1 electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 10 raised to minus 19 for 1 electron for 1 electron per electron another so for 1 mole that is 1.602 into 10 raised to minus 19 into Avogadro number that is equal to 96.5 kilojoule per mole 96.5 kilojoule per mole is the uh, is the energy in joule okay so that is to convert into joule Upper what a 0.0563 into 3.7 into 96.5 that is equal to 20.10 kilojoule. But the option is in uh, calorie, kilocalorie. So we will converting 4.2, 4.18 uh, divided by 4.18 we will get the answer 4.80 kilocalorie. This is unit conversion from joule to, uh, from kilojoule to calorie and this is the unit conversion from electron volt to kilojoule. Okay, this is for 1 mole. This is for 1 mole. 3.7 is the energy in electron volt for 1 mole. So, this total is the energy in kilojoule. And this is the number of moles. And let's go back to the question. So, the option is A. So, the option is... Option is A. Option is A. Okay. Move to next question. It's from organic. Question number 37. Have a look. You would have alcohol. It's a cyclo... Pentanol with the concentrated H2SO4, it's an alcohol with the concentrated H2SO4 will act as a uh, dehydrating agent. You will get A, will get A and uh, that with the chlorine in H2O, chlorine in H2O, that is will, will become HOCl, HOCl, okay. That uh, will give B, that is with the Cn minus, that will give H3O, uh, you will get C, that with H3O plus you will get D, that with the dichromate, you will get E. And what is E? What is E? That is a question. What is E? Okay. Here, uh, I will explain by using the next slide. What I, what I will explain here. This is an alcohol with H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4. It is dehydrated. Here, one hydrogen atom eliminated, there will form a double bond. So, that is cyclopentene. This is chlorine in water, that is HOCl, uh, that will produce a Cl minus nucleophile. So, OH one position OH is substituted, one position Cl is substituted. You will get this, uh, that is 2 chloro cyclopentanol, and this with the Cn minus. This act as a nucleophile that will replace chlorine atom to form a cyano compound. Okay. Then uh, you know nitrile. This is a nitrile. This nitrile on hydrolysis. On hydrolysis, that will form a carboxylic acid. Nitrile on hydrolysis, it forms carboxylic acid. It forms COH group. That with the potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is an oxidizing agent that will oxidize, that will oxidize this OH. This OH, the hydrogen will be removed, forming a double bond that form a ketone. Is COH body position in Position same in alignment in So there is a double bond. This double bond is here, and this COH is here. Okay. So, uh, our keto carboxylic acid form, and that on heating. This is a uh, this is alpha position. 
This is beta position. Beta keto carboxylic acid. Beta keto carboxylic acid undergone decarboxylation easily. Beta keto carboxylic acid on just heating undergone decarboxylation. Here carbon dioxide is eliminated to form a cyclopentanone. To form a cyclopentanone, that is the answer. Question number 38. Question number 38. Calculate the total pressure in 10 liter cylinder which contains 0.4 gram of helium. Helium is 4 gram, 1.6 gram of oxygen and 1.4 gram of nitrogen. And calculate the total pressure. We know PV is equal to NRT. Okay. You have a number of moles in the moon gas in a mixture. So PV is equal to N total into RT. P total, P total is equal to N total divided by volume, volume total on into RT. Okay. About a number of moles of uh, helium and duricum, actual mass divided by molar mass. Oxygen actual mass divided by molar mass, given mass divided by molar mass. Upon the n total volume is given that is 10 liter, R and the value area, temperature is given 27 degrees Celsius that is 300 Kelvin. And the solution, I will explain to you already, and this is the detailed solution. Detailed solution number of moles of helium 0.4 divided by 4 that is equal to 0.1, number of moles of oxygen. 1.6 divided by oxygen molecule, so 32, that is equal to 0 0.05. Number of moles of nitrogen, that is equal to 1.4. And 2, that is 28. You will get 0 0.05. Total, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05, that is 0 0.02. So, P total is equal to NRT. NRT means this N is total number of moles. That is 0 0.2. That is 0 0.2 into R value, 0 0.08. 8 to liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole and 27 degrees Celsius 300 and divided by volume 10 liter and the answer is 0.492 atm 0.492 so the option is answer A A is the option okay next question question number 39 n0 by 4 atoms of just to have a look on the y n0 by 4 atoms number of atoms is given of X gas are converted into X plus gas. That is ionization by energy E1. N0 by 4 atoms of X gas are converted into X minus. That is um, electron gain enthalpy by energy E2. Hence ionization potential and electron affinity of X. Adhyam ionization enthalpy uh, convert X plus no rainbow. You were moving converted to X plus no rainbow. The ionization enthalpy. Only. Let's take the ionization enthalpy I. And... Uh, converted into X minus on the rainbow, that is electron gain enthalpy, that is EG, EG, okay, and uh, that is converted into E2. Hence, the ionization potential is different. So, let the ionization enthalpy be given as energy is equal to I. One mole X atom X plus I in the rainbow. This is 4. This is 4 per mole on mole inverse. Okay. Therefore, for N0 by 4 atoms, for N0 by 4 atoms, that is equal to I into N0 by 4. I into N0 by 4. Okay. E is equal to, that is energy is equal to, E1 is equal to energy first. E1 is equal to I into N0 by 4. Therefore, I is equal to 4 E1 divided by N0. N0 is avogadro number 4 E1 by N0. E option lund, E option lund. Now, we add it. Add it. Let the electron gain enthalpy is equal to EG. Electron gain enthalpy is equal to EG. That one, uh, E2. E2 is equal to. E2 is equal to. This is for one mole. This is for one mole. Now, so, here EG is EG, EG for one mole. EG into ethra moles on the other that is N0 by 4. EG into N0 divided by 4. Okay. Therefore, the electron gain enthalpy EG is equal to 4 E2 by N0. 4 E2 by N0. Here 4 E1 by N0. So, this is 4 E2 by N0. 
ഈ ഓപ്ഷൻ അത് ഇല്ല സോ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഇസ് ആൻസർ ഓക്കെ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഈസ് ദ ആൻസർ പ്രോബ്ലം ക്ലിയർ ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ വിൽ മൂവ് ടു നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ ഇവിടെ കറക്റ്റ് അതിൻ്റെ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ ആണ് യു ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് എ സ്ക്രീൻഷോട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഞാനിപ്പോൾ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്ത കാര്യങ്ങൾ ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ നോ ചാൻസ് ഓഫ് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ അയണൈസേഷൻ ദർ ഇസ് എൻ എച്ച് എക്സ്ട്രാ ഓക്കെ സോ ജസ്റ്റ് ടു റിമൂവ് ദാറ്റ് എച്ച് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി മാച്ച് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് മെറ്റലോളജി വിത്ത് ദർ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ഓർ വിച്ച് ദ ആർ യൂസ്ഡ് അതിൻ്റെ കറക്റ്റ് തിയറി ഓർമ്മ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പെട്ടെന്ന് ചെയ്യാവുന്നതാണ് നമുക്ക് ചില പ്രോബ്ലംസിൽ സമയം കൂടുതൽ ആവശ്യമുണ്ട് നമുക്ക് റിക്വയർ ടൈമിന് കൂടുതൽ വേണ്ടി വരും പക്ഷേ ഇതൊക്കെ ഡയറക്റ്റ് പെട്ടെന്ന് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ടൈം സേവ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് ഫ്രോത്ത് ഫ്ലോട്ടേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് ഫ്രോത്ത് ഫ്ലോട്ടേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് ഈസ് അഡ്വൈസബിൾ ഈസ് പ്രിഫേർഡ് ഫോർ സൾഫൈഡോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദേ ആർ നോൺ വെറ്റബിൾ വിത്ത് വാട്ടർ സോ ഫ്രോത്ത് ഫ്ലോട്ടേഷൻ സിങ്ക് സൾഫൈഡ് ഓക്കെ ഇലക്ട്രോൺ റിഫൈനിങ് ഓഫ് മെറ്റൽ ഇലക്ട്രോലിറ്റിക് റിഫൈനിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കോപ്പർ സിൽവർ ഗോൾഡ് സിങ്ക് എക്സെട്ര ഓക്കെ സോ കോപ്പർ സോൺ റിഫൈനിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ സെമി കണ്ടക്ടർ മെറ്റൽസ് ആൻഡ് മെറ്റൽസ് വിത്ത് ഹൈ പ്യൂരിറ്റി സോ ജർമേനിയം സോ വൺ ബി വൺ ബി വൺ ബി ദിസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ വൺ ബി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ ബി ടു സി ആൻഡ് ത്രീ എ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഓപ്ഷൻ മോ ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ ഫോർട്ടി വൺ കൗ മിൽക്ക് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് നാച്ചുറൽ എമൽഷൻ ഈസ് സ്റ്റെബിലൈസ്ഡ് വൈ വാട്ട് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ഫ്രം ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ സർഫസ് കെമിസ്ട്രി എമൽഷൻ കൊളോയിഡ്സ് എമൽഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ യു ഷുഡ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് കൗ മിൽക്ക് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് എമൽഷൻ there are two types of emulsion oil in water type and water in oil type emulsion so cow milk the liquid fat is uh, the liquid fat is dispersed in water the liquid fat is dispersed in water so the fat is oil and this is water ow type and for ow type what are the emulsifying agent emulsifying agents are used to stabilize an emulsion okay these are majorly stabilized by which type of emulsifying agents and water in oil type they are stabilized by which type of emulsifying agents okay this is clearly from this is your ncert book this is your ncert book okay and milk and vanishing cream are the example for oil in water type and butter and cream are examples for water in oil type okay emulsions in oil and water are unstable and sometimes separate into two layers so we use emulsifying agent the principal emulsifying agents for oil in water type emulsion that is for example milk are proteins gums natural and synthetic soaps this is your ncert proteins gums and natural and synthetic soaps okay and water in oil type like um, our butter and cream heavy metal salts heavy metal salts or fatty acids a long chain alcohol and lamb black are used as emulsifying agents to stabilize the uh, emulsion okay so our is water in oil in water type that is cow milk so protein protein in our option which or which is a protein in our question which is a protein protein is used as an emulsifying agent fat no water no this is metal salts no casein casein is the a protein that is used to stabilize cow milk oil in water type emulsion okay casein is answer so this we explained question number 42 question number 42 just read the question only iodine forms heptafluoride if7 but chlorine and bromine give pentafluoride the reason for this is low electron affinity of iodine unusual pentagonal bipyramidal structure of if7 that the larger iodine atoms can accommodate more number of smaller fluorine atoms around it the stability of a molecule always depends on the repulsion between the electron charge cloud as iodine is a bigger molecule it can accommodate maximum number of molecules so that is answer this is answer okay option c is answer question number 43 the following reaction is the reaction is given in a blast furnace okay that is in the extraction of iron from the ores using le chatelier principle predict which one of the following will not disturb the equilibrium if this is an equilibrium which uh, this is a solid 
according to uh, law of chemical equilibrium in heterogeneous equilibrium the concentration of solids and liquids are taken as unity the concentration of solids and liquids are taken as constant and that is taken as unity that means if you are adding any amount of solid substance that will not disturb the equilibrium so addition of co2 co2 is a gas so that will affect so that is not the answer removal of co2 addition whether it is addition or removal irrespective it's a gas uh, as it is a gas that will affect uh, removal of co co is also a gas but addition of a p2o3 as it is a solid it will not affect the equilibrium so this is the answer option c is the answer okay it's a simple question addition of solid or liquid substance will not disturb a heterogeneous equilibrium okay and 44 which of the following phosphorus is most reactive that's it you know the allotropes of phosphorus white phosphorus red phosphorus black phosphorus alpha black and beta black phosphorus and which among the following phosphorus is most reactive the answer is white phosphorus what is the structure of white phosphorus the structure of white phosphorus is this tetrahedral and that has an angle of 60 degree so the phosphorus the having a cyclic structure and having an angle of 60 degree that will experience that will experience an angular strain due to that angle strain angular strain that bond will break okay the ring will open so when it is exposed to air that will inflames that will catches fire on exposure to air so that is most reactive one white phosphorus is the answer option b and the last question in this series is a very simple question it's from organic related to isomerism um, commonly the questions from isomerism are a little bit difficult but this is an easy question this is a propene propene and this is a cyclopropane okay propene and cyclopropane one is having open chain structure other one is having a ring structure it is a closed chain structure both are unsaturated this is unsaturated that is also unsaturated and having the same uh, chemical formula that is c3 h6 c3 h6 uh, both are having the formula what is this this is ch2 single bond ch2 single bond ch2 single bond okay that is also c3 h6 as they are isomers what type of isomerism that is ring chain isomerism what is ring chain isomerism having the same chemical formula having the same molecular formula but one is having an open chain structure other one is having a ring structure closed chain structure that is called ring chain isomerism so the option is option b option b is the answer okay that's all mock test paper for need number 12 is over we'll come up with the next question paper in the next video thank you for watching our live video solution classes subscribe our channel stay tuned and stay safe. Thank you.